Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today we're doing our Fall For You Project Pan. And you might be like, wait a second. What? <laughs> and that might ring a bell because I totally stole this idea from the Fantastic Ladies. Savvy2904 came up with this last year and I was looking for like a summer seasonal project pan and I wanted it to end in fall just so I could like use up a lot of my summer products. And there wasn't really anything that interested me in the Fantastic Ladies, and I know it's really sad because they have like a million and one ideas, but this one just jumped out at me, and yes, it's from last year. But I do appreciate them <laughs> allowing me to do it again this year, and uh, go check out Savvy. Her link will be down below. That's on her Instagram. So what I did is I chose 10 products, but you know me, I, I might have thrown in a few extras there. Um, uh, so <laughs> you just supposed to choose 10 products and use them up by the first day of fall, which is September 20th. So, here we are. We're in August. I have one month left, and I have done reasonably well with this project. I know that there will definitely be some that I'm going to finish, and then I definitely know that there are going to be some that I'm not going to finish, but at least I've tried a good amount. So, let's show you where I'm at and how we're doing. First of all, you know, and I'm sorry I threw away this empty already, I finished up one of my fragrances, and that is the Scentbird Machino in Pink Bouquet. I apologize, I already finished that one and I just threw it out, I didn't even think about it. I then also have a few more empties, yay, or goals met. Um, the first is the Hello Fab, so First Aid Beauty, Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. I am not a huge fan of the First Aid Beauty brand because it doesn't do great things for my skin. This is like the fourth or fifth product that I've tried. This one actually is my favorite one that I've tried. And this is just a little sample size. This is 9.6 grams and I finished it, so... Go me! <laughs> I also finished the Bite Beauty Lip Crayon. I'm so excited. This is the matte lip crayon in the shade Blisse. And it is all gone. Ah, uh, yes. So, these are my marks. Doot, doot, and nada. <laughs> I worked really, really hard on this one to get it gone, and I'm excited that it is gone so I can focus on some more products that I won't be able to use in the wintertime, you know, like. Thinks pops of corals, <laughs> melon shades, hot pinks, you know, things like that when I want to go a little bit more deeper and sultry in the fall. I also finished, which I did not think was going to happen because I have three eyeliners in this project. Count them three, crazy three. I've got the Makeup Forever Artist Liner in the shade 160. This was a taupe shade. And I used it up so much, the tip fell out. So, like, go me, go me. I might actually hit my goals on the other two. <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome and then this morning I had some surprise pan I couldn't believe this because I had just I've been switching out I put in two powders in this project and I've been switching them out week after week and I also had a project in my most expensive project pan which just finished like what a couple weeks ago so I was like <sighs> I'm never gonna finish a powder but my goal was to hit pan on the Ulta double duty beauty powder in the shade medium and burr, 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 tiny itty bitty pan. Look at that. Isn't it just the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Right there. It's right on that inner ring. Um, this happened today. I am saying thank you very much powder. <laughs> uh, I have to finish. I want to finish another powder in this project which is going to be nearly impossible. So I'm going to put that aside for now. It is in the shade medium so it is my summer shade so we won't see it again until next summer unfortunately. But I'm hoping that um, it doesn't go bad. How many months do I have on this? It doesn't say. It's fine. We're just gonna pretend like it's fine. Now, isn't that amazing? So that means I have finished one, two, or hey cool, one, two, three, four, five products. Five products. Yes. Okay, so my goal is to do 10, and I might have 15 products in this project. So that means I'm halfway to my goal. Then I have 10 more things to work on to hopefully hit my goal here pretty soon. And some of them I'm really, really close on. So let's start with some that I'm pretty close on. And I've got an eyeliner here. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in a purple shade called Coolest Chic. I do have this on my eyes today with some purple eyeshadow to really like pow with the purple. And let me show you. That is all I have left. I've been using this a lot this summer. Um, my initial goal was to try and use this up, but then last month I freaked out a little bit because I was like, I'm never going to finish it, so I put a goal. And let me show you 
how close I am to that goal. Okay, so we are looking right here. Okay, so that's where I started the black line. Last month I was on the red line. I am there, and then that little line is my goal. So that's what, I think that's going to be two uses, because this is a pretty, pretty creamy cajole eyeliner, and uh, <laughs> I made a big jump on it. This is clearly not something I use every day, like clearly not, but I have been trying to use it more <laughs> to try and hit my goal. So that is that one, and maybe I'll even finish it up, we'll see. I think a, a month is a little too short of a time to try and use it up, to be completely honest with you, but maybe I'll put it in another project pan. My other eyeliner is the Julep Kajal eyeliner, and I've got brown shimmer on one side and black on the other side. I'm trying to use up the brown, and that is how much I've got left. It's really hard to see any difference on this. This is like twice the product of, <laughs> of the Essence liner. But I also have really good use here. So on this one we're looking right here. This is where I, yeah, that's where I started. This is, the red line is where I was last month. I'm now where that brown line is, and the dotted line is my goal. So I still have, I need a good solid use in the next month to finish up my goal on this one. But I think once I hit my goal on the purple, I'll move over to the brown, and that will help out a little bit. I'm hoping that works out for my favor. <laughs> I'm hoping. Um, I also need to really get my butt moving, and I probably won't hit goal on my LOC, my love of color. This is the On Point Eye Cream. I have this underneath my purple eyeshadow today as a base. It really brings out the punch of purple that I have. The purple, my one month one palette isn't going great this month, to be completely honest with you. I'm like, they're good, but they're not great. <laughs> I feel a lot out of them. So that's where I was last, that's where I started. That's the first month and that's the second month. So like, not great, to be honest with you. I wanted to finish it, and I most certainly am not going to finish it, although I'm proud to say I've got some good use on it. It's just not going the way I hoped. Like, I thought I was going to wear this every day, and that was just silly of me to think that I was going to wear this every day. But I am getting good use on it, finally, so. And I have, you know, I've, it has gone down almost an inch, so, like, I shouldn't complain. I shouldn't, because I have been getting use out of it. Um, let's talk about the powder that I still want to hit pan on. This is the Pure Powder. It's two, actually, powders mixed together. I've got Balancing Act in here from Pure, and I also have a Julep Mattifying Powder, and that's what it looks like. I must admit, I've been switching this on and off from the Ulta one, and then, like, my Smith's Project Pan, so I haven't gotten very much use out of this. Probably two weeks, three weeks max for the entire project, which is pitiful, because I've been working on this. <laughs> for two months technically, so this is going to be one of my main focuses. This is just a sample size, um, and I have repressed this clearly since I mixed two together, so hopefully this will be one of my main focuses and something I'm able to use up. I, re I still want to be able to use that up, but if I hit pan, I'll be happy. The next one I'm 99% sure I'll be able to finish is this one. This is a Laura Geller Spackle Treatment Even Tone Makeup Primer, and the reason why is it was up there when we began, and now I'm all the way down here. <laughs> oh, did I just smudge the line? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, well, it's not like that. <laughs> um, I am clearly almost done with this. It feels... It's very, very hollow. I really have to squeeze it to get it out now. So that will be done up here very, very shortly. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting that gone, because that will be a good one for me. The other one that I'm 100% sure I'll have no issue going through, this is my other lip product in this collection. This is the Bite Beauty Luscious Fruit Lip Gloss in the shade Papaya, and you can see, okay, so actually last month I was way up here, and then this is my one month, no, what is it, my, my mini lip project pan, this is the mark from that, which was, again, just a few weeks ago, I filmed that, like three weeks ago, and I've been really focusing on this one, and boop, I'm all the way to the bottom. So like, this is going to be gone here really, really soon, I give it like another week, <laughs> and if I really focused on it, I could get a 10 in three days, but like, I'm, I'm mostly focusing on the week. I do have it on my lips today. It's that shine that I got. I have it over a liquid lipstick, so that's where it's going there. There are a couple things here I don't know what to do with. Um, one is this Milk Makeup Cooling Stick. I didn't use this the first month, which is totally my mistake. I should have done that, because now that's all my use. <laughs> and this 
is not my favorite. I thought this would be perfect for summer. I thought I could just cool, like pull it on my under eyes and like make it cooling. But I keep this in my bathroom, which isn't a very cool place because of all like the moisture and stuff. And this isn't super hydrating. It isn't super cooling. It's not a great eye cream. I don't exactly know what to do with that. But like I'm going to continue using it up because I bought this kit basically to try things. And uh, I'm not super pleased with it, but maybe it'll get better. Maybe the fall time is better. I don't know. Germany has been super hot this summer. Apparently not as hot as last summer, but it still feels like it's been super hot. Uh, I also have a scent bird. Again, I finished the Maraschino one in Pink Bouquet, but I also have the Maraschino one in Cheap and Chic. Uh, I just finished, finally, my DKNY fragrance, which I wanted to finish in June. But here we are in August finishing it up, uh, and that is how much I have used. This is one week's worth of use, so if we've got one, two, three weeks left on this guy, I don't think there'll be any issue. I have just about three weeks to finish up this project. No, because it goes till September 20th. Yeah, I have about four weeks, so that should be gone, no issue. Now here's the big question mark. Foundation. I, once again, Put two foundations in this project because this is just a project of twos. <laughs> um, I have the L'Oreal Paris 207 Sand Beige Infallible Pro Glow. I'm still like right down here. It just hasn't finished up yet. I didn't remark it. This is where I started and I don't know. It just, I can't remark it. There's just like nothing moving on down there. I just don't, and it hasn't like, you know, like when you push the bottle it goes at the end, it hasn't done that yet, so there's still enough to like get a good squeeze out of it. And then I've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation uh, in the shade Soft Beige. This is another one I've had a really hard time settling. How do you guys settle foundations? Like, I keep my foundations upright, like I don't know exactly how to do it. I try to shine a light through it and that doesn't really work. So I've used this probably, I don't know, a dozen times, so I would imagine there's some sort of I don't know, growth in here. <laughs> like, I just can't see anything, so I didn't remark it. I was, I'm still there, in my opinion, so I don't exactly know what to do with foundations. I don't really like panning foundations, to be completely honest with you, but I, these are the two oldest in my collection, so I'd really like to get them out of my, out of my life. <laughs> it's just to the point where I know that they're gonna go bad here, like, really, really soon, so. That's where we're at. Those are my 15 products. I have finished five. My goal is to finish another five. I think I'm well on that way. I'm really excited that this project is going well. Please let me know what you're using up this summer. And if you've done a summer project pan, link it down below so I can follow it along. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.